Hi, I'm Ellen. In this video I'm going to talk about some general features of academic writing that you need to be familiar with if you want to succeed in your own writing at university. First of all, you need to consider that writing is communicative. In all forms of communication there is a sender who transmits a message to a receiver. In academic writing that message will be a fact-based argument and in order to successfully deliver this you need to know who you're writing for and what you can expect your target reader to already know. In other words, identifying your audience is crucial. Another central feature of academic writing is that it's objective, which means you should avoid biased language and generalisations and that you shouldn't bring in your personal preconceptions or opinions. An academic essay about, say, a fictional character, a political conflict or a religious issue should present an argument that sheds light on the actual topic but mustn't be a subjective statement on the part of the writer. Academic writing is a formal genre and you are expected to use a rather strict register and format. This can be a challenge, especially for non-native writers, as different levels of formality might be difficult to recognise in a second language. Remember, the question of style and register in writing is not necessarily a difference between what is right or wrong language-wise, but rather specifies what is the preferred style for a specific occasion. In other words, what is right in one context may not be considered OK in another. Just as you wouldn't wear flip-flops to a formal dinner, you don't use the informal style of text messages between friends in a job application or a university essay. But how do you go about finding the right level of formality for writing at university then? Well, one way is to study texts within your specific discipline. As a university student, you have loads of helpful resources to hand. You have access to your university library resources, books as well as journals, and perhaps also student papers and degree projects written at your department. Read texts within your discipline to learn how scholars and experienced students write. Look for things like how they introduce their argument, how they define and use discipline-specific terms, and how they make use of previous research within the field. The last thing I'd like to raise here is the fact that writing practices do vary from one academic discipline to the next. This means that you need to learn what is expected of you for the particular text that you are writing. An article in physics looks very different from one in history, for instance. If you transfer from one discipline to another, you'll notice that although the basics remain the same, the way that texts are written when it comes to referencing and text structure, for instance, may differ. Thank you.